Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into the world of Gabriel, Gabriel Enrique. Um, it's been a little while since we've reacted to him, but y'all know I love him. Um, I was just on YouTube the other day, and I saw where he had a video that came out a couple days ago, him covering Hero, and I'm like, done. Added the playlist. I didn't even know which hero it was. I wasn't sure if it was Mariah Carey's hero, because we know he's got that insane range where he could do Mariah. He has done Mariah. Or I didn't know if it was like Enrique Iglesias' hero, because he's also got that sort of Latin crooner quality to his vibe, where he could very easily slay some Enrique. Or if it's someone else's song hero. I don't know. So I don't actually know. Until we press play, I don't know which hero this is, but I don't care. It's Gabriel, and he's singing, so that, that's all that really matters. So let's dive in and Find out. Okay, Mariah. <laughs> I just needed the first strum for the piano. Right off the bat, he's giving us, like, 90s Mariah live. It's just switching up the narrative of the song, like, Here inside you. <laughs> Take it back, hear that again. If you look inside your heart, you don't have to be afraid of what you are. There's an answer. If you're reaching to his Beautiful. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. And you cast your fears aside. And you know you can't Gorgeous light head voice. <laughs> just gonna, you think he's just gonna breeze past that like lord he's doing the most right now like it is such an interesting vocal path because like we know mariah carey can be extra as hell we know, we know she can be doing the most, and her riffs and runs are just crazy. She hits like 700 notes in the span of like 10 seconds, and it's just like, ah. So like, sh she does the most sometimes. But like at that point in the song, she, I think it just disappears. So it's like disappear one little run and then like little staircase run that she does he he took like 15 different paths to get to that and i'm like y'all it is impressive it's impressive um the creativity one more time down back up then back down like it's just interesting Ooh, that survive is nice.
sing, boy. You better belt, boy! He loves that downward staircase for us. Ooh, nice dynamic choice. He is so damn talented, I swear, he is so damn talented. And there were a lot of just really great things that he did in that performance. Um, a lot of impressive, just like technical things that he did. Um, I I would have toned down the runs maybe like 10, 15%. Um, because there were some times where I feel like we were just getting a little oversaturated with trying to, because Mariah Carey, already does the most like i said she does the most vocally she's just all over the place um and no it's in the best way possible it's not a bad thing um, but she does a lot sometimes she does a lot of running a lot of vocal gymnastics and it's impressive but her songs are already full of it so sometimes i think when people try to cover her music it's like okay well i don't want to copycat i don't want to do what mariah did which is great you know make the song your own um but then sometimes people simplify runs in that case sometimes they go the opposite direction and they do more runs and i feel like this is starting to veer towards that second option where it's like okay we're trying to make the song our own and we don't want to be a copycat of mariah but now we're just adding runs and runs and runs where there's already like the song already has like 800 runs so now we're just going to add an extra 200 to make it a solid thousand runs and like we don't, we, we don't need quite that many. So I would have dialed back some of those. Not saying that they're not, they didn't sound good. They sounded fantastic. Like, but I'm very much one of those kind of singers and just like listeners who, I, I don't like being oversaturated with vocal gymnastics. I prefer like just hearing the tone of a singer and hearing, I, lo I love the belts. I love the vocal dynamics. I love all that kind of stuff. And the gymnastics are fantastic too. But I like hearing what the singer for what their voice sounds like in its pure form versus like them flying all over the map like them flying all over the map is impressive it's technically impressive and there's sometimes the song calls for it where it's like oh yes mm. and there are a lot of points in the song where that was the case where it's like oh yes i like this change i like this change but there were some times where i'm like okay i feel like i'm being oversaturated with run 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 riff run riff run i'm like ah um again not that any of them sounded bad. None of them sounded bad. They all were fantastic on their own. Um, it's just that in a big collection of group in one song, it's like there's it's a lot of runs. Um, so I would have toned that down a little bit. But like I said, vocally, he's phenomenal. And one thing I loved about this performance is sometimes I feel like his covers um, hinge so heavily on him hitting a whistle note because it's very impressive it is very impressive and i feel like sometimes like we we're working ourselves up to the song to see okay where's the whistle gonna come in oh he's gonna throw in this whistle and we're just gonna be shook and it's fantastic but just like with mariah and ariana and leona lewis i've said the same thing um in the past there were times when like it felt like every single song they were doing it was just like okay a whistle's gonna come i know a whistle's gonna come here at some point i know a whistle's gonna come here at some point okay and it's not that the song really needed to jump up there it's just that okay we have the ability to and i'm going to so hmm. um so i liked that this it just did it it was it just 
kept it true to the original in that sense. Like the song didn't need it. Mariah's got enough songs where she jumps up into a whistle. Um, not every song needs a whistle. The song didn't need a whistle. There's lots of fantastic belting and whatnot that happens in the song. So I like that we chose not to go that route and like just throw in a whistle for whistle's sake. Um, his belts are gorgeous. I love, I've said this before. Um, yes, his head voice, his upper register is insane, but I love listening to his chest voice. I love listening to his lows and I love listening to those like big chesty belts because they are beautiful and I don't feel like people talk about him enough because we're always so focused on his um, insane upper register. Um, but yeah, his belts were just in on beautiful display in this performance. And I love, love the, mm, love the placement in his voice. Just love the tone of his voice in general. Um, yeah, so all in all, it was a great cover. It was a great cover. Some little tweaks that I would do there, you know, tone down some things, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, that's just my personal taste in music. Not everyone has the same taste in music, and that's, you know, what makes the world go around. Um, some people love just run, it's on runs, on runs, on runs, on runs, on runs. Well, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, well, like I said, he didn't do anything bad. Like, there's nothing that he did that sounded bad. Every run that he did was immaculate. And I loved some of the choices that he made to change certain runs or to add runs in certain places some of them felt very natural like very natural evolutions of the original version and they were very tasteful and then others just felt like okay we're running for the sake of running um so i would have toned some of that down but he still did fantastic regardless but anywho hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments and i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to see more of my reactions to gabriel you can check out my reaction playlist um link is down in the description if there's anything else you'd like me to react to i think i already said that put down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can um if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love you